currently on board the Holland America Line Eurodam, about to take my first steps into my cabin. I am staying in stateroom 4024. It is an inside cabin here on the deck four, kind of towards the forward of the ship. Let's see how it looks. All right, here we go. Let's check out 4024. There we go, all right. Home sweet home for the next four nights. So coming inside, it is a slightly different design of a cabin. It's a little bit sideways, which is kind of fun. You can see it is arranged in a queen size setup, but you can get this requested to be a two twin. On the side of the bed, look at that. We have a USB port, which is amazing. A little light switch with a reading light so you can bend that and turn it however you need to. A phone, a nice pad of paper and a pen, as well as some really nice drawers right next to you on the bedside, which is really unusual. Not familiar with seeing something like that, but absolutely love that detail. Up on the bed, we've got some throw pillows and a few nice pillows to be able to sleep with. And then this lovely runner to put your luggage on when it arrives to your cabin. Now on the other side of the bed, it's almost a mirror identical. You just don't have the phone and the notepad over here. But again, we do have a USB port, some light switches, as well as a reading lamp and two more drawers down below. Backing out of this area, you can enjoy this artwork. But off to the right hand side, what you didn't see when I came into the room is this side table with a chair. Plus there is a little seat that you have underneath the desk if you wanna do your makeup or take care of any of your needs in front of the mirror. <laughs> That's right, we've got the mirror right there. Hey YouTube, ooh, it's nice and tinted. Isn't that interesting? Let's see if we can turn the light on here. There are so many light switches in this cabin, it is so weird. Also down below here, we've got some glasses and a blow dryer. Looks like we've got a cruise tip coming for you right here in this storage bin where you can put your dirty laundry over the course of your cruise. Now on a four night cruise, I'm not gonna have too much laundry. Very interesting. It looks like there is no refrigerator in the inside cabin. Now, I don't know if that's an upgrade option that you can request or if that's just how cabins are on Holland America. I will have to do some additional research to better understand that. Now, there is a TV here, of course. You can see my reflection in it. It's a pretty good sized TV. And as we continue deeper into the room, we actually discover that we've got a full length mirror some shallow storage shelves where you have your safe, which is a decent size. A little place for hanging stuff, plus a laundry bag should you need to do any laundry while you're on your cruise. And then opposite of that, we've got the life jackets and two full-size cabinets or closets along with these shelves, which we have become familiar with on board Carnival cruise ships. Those newer ships out there have these cool converting shelves. But wait, there's still more in this cabin and that would be the lavatory, the bathroom. Now the bathroom does appear to have a very kind of standard look. It very much feels kind of like a carnival ship with the exception of only one side of shelves inside this lavatory instead of two sides. Uh, but here we have soap and lotion, which is a great touch for those Alaska cruises that Holland America does. Uh, it's really nice to be able to put some lotion on your hands because it does get very, very dry when you are sailing Alaska. And then over here, well, we can see that the ship is a little bit old. They didn't use the best metal for these shower rings. But here you can see the shower. It's a decent size for a, a inside cabin uh, on a cruise ship. It's, it's okay. I've seen bigger, but I've also seen much smaller thinking of Norwegian sky. So there you go. That is a quick room tour of stateroom 4024 onboard Holland America line Eurodown. Oh, and don't forget, we've got these really nice hooks right behind the door so you can hang some items. Stay tuned. We've got a lot more details coming up for you on Holland America. Bye. <laughs>
I just spent four nights inside cabin 4024 on board Holland America Line Eurodam, and I want to tell you all about that experience. This was part of the standby program, so I didn't really have the choice of what cabin I was in aside from the category, so I actually went with an inside cabin. 4024, when it was assigned to me, I pulled up the deck plans and I was nervous. I'm going to tell you right now, it was right above the theater, so I didn't really know what to expect. We have stayed in cabins that are directly over the theater before, and we were able to hear them rehearsing. We were able to hear the lifts of all of the mechanisms on the stage. So yeah, I went in with a little bit of apprehension. Now, after sleeping in that cabin for four nights, I will tell you it is quiet. I never once heard them rehearsing in the middle of the night. I mean, honestly, on Holland America, there really isn't much going on over the evening hours after the last show ends. It's set around 10 p.m., which was really nice. So yes, I did come back to the cabin during the day and I heard a little bit of the rehearsals. So in that case, I didn't have to go to the shows. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But yes, I was able to hear some of the rehearsals taking place in the theater during the day from inside my cabin, which really wasn't that big of an issue. And it was actually quite quiet, which was also really appreciated. Now for the cabin itself, there was ample storage. Yes, I was sailing by myself, so I didn't have to worry about sharing any of my closet space with someone else like Mark, uh, but I was still able to find tons of places to put things and I had a plethora of space available that I didn't even need to use. So that was really nice. I will tell you that my cabin steward was fantastic. He was always greeting me by name when he saw me on the ship even if he wasn't working near my cabin. It was fantastic. Uh, and he was also very prompt to make sure that I had ice delivered to my cabin, which I absolutely love. The cabin does get made up two times daily, which is also a very unique thing to Holland America Line these days, as most cruise lines only provide one service time on your cabin. And the coolest thing about this was every night when I came back to my stateroom after being out on the ship, having dinner, and just enjoying the evening out, I would come back to my room made up, the spotlight on the bed, and it was showing something different every day. So at the end of the cruise, would I recommend 4024 to you if you were booking a cruise on Holland America Line Eurodam? The answer is yes, 100%. It was a fantastic room, super quiet all hours of the day and night, not too many rattles, which I really appreciated. Half the time, I didn't even know that we were arriving in port, which was great. And honestly, it was very dark and very quiet the entire sailing. The layout of the cabin is a little different than what you might be used to since it is turned a little bit sideways. So when you walk in, you have the bed to one side and then you actually have to walk a little bit further to get to your closet and the bathroom. But the cool thing about that is it made for a nice little dressing area. 4024 fantastic stateroom on board the Eurodam. If you want to know more details about my experience on board the Eurodam, please stay tuned to the channel. We've got so much content that's going to be coming out shortly, including how you can participate in the standby program, which is the program that I was a part of, as well as the full final thoughts of my experience on board and a ship tour as I take you deck by deck from the topmost deck all the way down to the bottom. So if you haven't done it already, please give this channel a subscribe and turn on those notification bells so that this way you can be notified when I have any other content coming out about Holland America Eurodown or any other cruise ship out there. Thank you so much for watching this video and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye.